Dude, you got a tank, don't you? What? You get him over that tree. Dude, that's a freaking good one, dude. Oh my God, is that a bass? Jeez, that's a good one, dude. Yeah. That's a freaking tank. Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the love and support recently. Everybody who's dropped a comment on the videos, hit the like button on the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much. Y'all are awesome. It helps out more than you know, so if you could, please hit the like button. Drop some video suggestions down in the comment section. Also hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already because we got some bangers coming out every single week. In today's video, we're out here on the Ogeechee River again. We filmed one last week and it was like two months since we've been out here. So we're out here again and we're gonna be trying to catch these bass. We have two hours of fishing, maybe a little less, just about two hours of fishing until it gets dark. So we're on a time crunch today, but I kind of like when we're on a time crunch because that means we got to get to work, put our heads down, and uh, try to catch these bass. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. In most of the recent Ogeechee episodes, we've been heading down river and fishing more towards the brackish water. In today's video, we ended up going up and uh, we're gonna fish around here a good bit. And then we're gonna possibly start heading towards the brackish water here shortly um, after we fish up here. And the reason we came up here first is because the water level is really high right now. And on this river, when the water level's high, it is the hardest thing, the hardest thing to do is catch a bass. So I don't know, we're gonna try something different today. Put our heads down, try to put it together and hopefully catch some fish. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm throwing and we're gonna work back in this creek. I'm hoping that we end up hooking a big one. I think we have a better chance of hooking a big fish up here than we do down there. So let's get it. All right, what we getting with? We gonna do a bait caster right now. We got, I only have three rods on the boat right now, two spinning combos and a bait caster. And uh, this is the Kickin' Their Bass X Lose Baitcaster combo right here. If you guys want to check them out, they're only available on kickintheirbass.com. I'll leave the link down below. I really appreciate everybody who supported me and my brand this far and uh, has purchased their self a combo. Thank you guys so much. It really means a lot to me. And uh, y'all are awesome. So if you guys are wondering what we have on this combo, we got just a standard Texas rig. That's the Ogeechee Special. Um, we got a quarter ounce bullet weight three aught, or this is actually a four aught extra wide gap hook. And then we just have a June bug worm on there. If you guys wanna check out any of the baits that I use, discount codes down below, discount links down below, and also any of the other loose rods other than this, I have discount codes down below as well. Let's go ahead and start working in this creek. We're gonna throw this around for a bit. If they're not eating it, we're gonna switch up. But, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get it started. beaming no way oh no way what first cast it's a good sign cody look first cast can't make it up we haven't been up here how long has it been it's been a long time hasn't it yeah. it's been a while since we came up river I can't believe that. First cast, I thought I was going to get him too. I was like, yep, that's how we want to start it. I didn't stick him, so we might have an opportunity. I can't believe I couldn't get him to bite again. I thought I would. Um, honestly, he bit it like a good one would. He didn't really like tick it. He kind of just loaded up on it, was walking with it fish a cold front it's like you you usually have just as many bites if not more but they might not hold on to it so one thing that we might have trouble with today is actually getting the fish to commit to the bait i can't really see the sun is like oh there he is there he is there we go first fish not that bad at all let's go dude he's biting hard too Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. Yes. 
Not a bad fish, not a big one, but not a bad one. That's a start, that's all I gotta say. And he hammered that thing. There was no playing around with that bite. There was no, is that a bite? No, he was slamming it. He got the hook really weird, which makes me think he tried to spit it out, possibly. Well, there we go, boys. It's our first fish of the day. Not a big one by any means, but you gotta start somewhere. And to know we've only been fishing for five minutes and we already got a fish in a spot that we haven't been to in a very long time. It's a great feeling on high tide. That's something to pick up on that you usually can barely get a bite on dang high tide out here. So we starting it off right. They might be biting little guy, but Hey, I appreciate him. Thank you, bud. He fought good for the size. All right. We always got so obsessed with that canal that we kind of like, we haven't been anywhere else. Yeah. No, this spot, dude, I'm telling you, I've had two or three days in here where the big ones happen to just pull up and I was catching like four pounders. I'm like, yeah. I don't know. All right, y'all, well, we got our first, what the heck did I do to my line? We got our first fish of the day, pretty quick. Our first cast had a bite and I'm not even where I really want to be on the spot, like where I thought the fish were going to be. I thought we could possibly catch one or two coming in here but i didn't know it was actually going to happen we might catch another one here in a moment all this current is getting flushed out it was full pool which is complete high tide and now it's an outgoing tide but the water's still high so oh gosh what am i doing this this sun literally has my depth perception all messed up i can't see what i'm doing that was just an excuse. You know, I actually don't know what I'm doing. I just suck at fishing. That was all an excuse to, you know, just boost my self-confidence. I've never seen you make one good cast. Yeah, I've, I'll, I've never casted one good time without backlashing in my entire life. My whole career is a lie. We actually cut every time I cast to make it look like it's a flush cast, but it's, it's really fake, not. Uh, yeah, it's all fake. <laughs> People are going to spread that rumor to you. Like, no even admitted. No admitted he's never made a cast without a backlash. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Oh. What the? What is going on, dude? What's going on? He, he popped my pickle, dude. No, he, didn't. he popped my he pickle. Popped pickle. He popped. <laughs> He popped my pickle. Right by the boat. Yeah, dude, that was crazy. But no, he had it the whole time. He was just like taking a cruise around downtown. Remember that current break? I caught a few on that, right? That one time. Yeah, it makes sense. Jeez, that's a good one, dude. That's a two pounder. Fumbling. Uh -oh. Trying to put my power poles down, they won't go down. Nice. He's fighting good, man. He's fishing this current. Love the rip. Oh, that's a beautiful one, dude. Look at this. Oh, yeah. He ate that thing good, too, just how you'd want him to. Look at that. That is a pretty fish. The markings on him are amazing. I mean, Cody, we were just talking about this a little current break over here. I skipped my bait right up in there, kind of let the current take it out, and uh, that bad boy picked it up. Second fish of the day, not a giant, but we're getting better, man. That's definitely bigger than the last one. And he just has beautiful, beautiful lateral line on him. Yeah, the color on him is just really cool. Yeah, yeah it is. is. It's kind of crazy, too, because since we're upriver, I think the colors change slightly on these fish. The water water clarity is a little different too over here. Cool. That's a pretty one, man. Yeah. We'll get a, we'll release them right here. I think we can get one more over here. We fished this whole creek and I only had those bites at the mouth. And then we got back here by these current breaks and uh, got that good little bass. That's a, that's a little brute. You see that little fin right there? Yeah. On the top. Thank you, buddy. There it goes. Give me something, brother. There you go. We got to start. Yep. 
the water level's crazy and the two bites that i had were at the mouth so like in my head i'm like shoot man these fish might be towards the mouth for some reason but then you you present the bait in the right spot like right here you have this little tiny ditch that kind of goes up in there there's no current so what i did is i skipped my bait up in that little ditch started dragging it out to about right when i hit the current right when i hit the current it kind of gave that bait that natural push to float down the bank and that's when he picked it up so we're putting some together you have that one right there and then you have this big tree it's got a huge current break behind it i almost guarantee you there's going to be a fish right there almost guaranteed we're going to pick up this rod and give it a shot and that is the first thing that's the only thing that's made sense so far like that there should have been a fish there and he was your there. rod bent like a four or five pounder like i thought it was a big one it was a big one too and guys like one of the last couple times i came out here i was throwing a fluke i caught a ton of three and a half to four pounders i don't know what it was it's like some days you'll you'll come out here and you can catch the big ones like that and then some days they're they're a pound and a half two pounds i i don't know but you never know with this spot i've had a lot of luck with some good ones so yeah when i jacked him at first i thought he was a big one yeah me too and then i was like hey, he's a good one but so we're not done yet i still got that money cast we're gonna go up here and throw this Oh gosh, I had one in there, dude. That's a good one. Oh gosh. Dude, that's crazy. That that was so cool. He was in that little ditch, man. Another nice one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was scared of the hook set with that last hook set. You know, I hooked into a big tree. And uh he was in that same little cubby that I caught. I didn't catch the other one in the cubby. I caught him on the main little mouth of it. But he was up in that thing, man. I, I kind of want to throw one more cast in there because that's two fish in one spot. They're not in that other current break for some reason, but they're sitting in that little tiny cubby. Third fish. Nice. Not bad. We're picking them apart. Thank you, bud. So this is the thing. When you're fishing current and you're fishing like a tidal water fishery, a lot of these spots, they replenish. And we talk about it all the time. You know, you could be fishing a spot for a couple minutes and then walk away from it from five minutes and throw back in the same spot and catch a fish. I promise you that fish wasn't there when I caught the first one. He probably just pulled up. All this current coming out, these fish are flowing out with the current. They're, fi they're finding any of these little crevices to get in. I can almost guarantee you that's what happened there. He tickled me. Not in a good way. Oh gosh, that's a good one. Oh no, 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 dude. That was a freaking monster, bro. Oh. Dude, why, why did I have to lose that fish? That fish was every bit. All right, by monster, I mean like three and a half plus. I fish was good. I saw the side of him right there. Mmm, that really sucks, guys. That was such a good skip up in there. He ate it two times in a row. I just backlash my room. Oh, boy. That was a good fish, bro. Right when I hook set him, my line was going whistling. All right, y'all, so we picked up my man Chance. What's up, Congrats to you, dude. Yep. Also, my boy just got married. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, congrats, Chance. First time back on the channel as yep. a married man. As a married man. You know, he's changed a ton. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he's a total <laughs> different guy. Not at all, guys. Not at uh, all. But, yeah, we're going to try to do some fishing. we got about probably 45 minutes to an hour of fishing. I think we're going to catch them. Um, you know, I caught those three fish, ended up losing that big one. But now we're on a different side of the river. 
we went from going up to coming back down. This is brackish water. And uh, we're gonna give it a shot. I think we're gonna be able to get on them pretty good. I caught two that were like high one pounders and then the first one was really small. Now I lost that good one. Yeah, we came out here, you know, when you're out on a, a millstone. Yeah. We we're only out here for shoot hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. But uh, caught like seven. Yeah, I caught a, they just weren't. I caught a big. limit. And then. Cold, Texas rig. Cold five times. You got them? Dude, you got a tank, don't you? What? You get him over that tree. <gasps> dude, that's a freaking good one, dude. Oh my God, is that a bass? Dude, I think it is. A, it is a bass, ain't it? Oh, it's a dang mudfish. God, he looked like a fat four pounder. <laughs> oh, you're, you're right handed on the spin. <laughs> Dang, dude, I, for some reason, my mind told me that that was a four pound bass. There you go. There you go. Chance is already on board that quick. <laughs> I seriously thought you had a dang good one. I was like, wow. You got a bite right there first. And now <laughs> Did you? Then I threw you back up there. So you bit you, bit you the cast before? Well, dang, I really thought that was a good bass. I was like, dude, that's crazy. You got a fish? You got a fish? Do it. There ain't nothing right there. Hmm. Oh, here he is. Oh, dude, he, that was him spinning it out. That was a crazy bite. God, hold on, man. I got to catch that fish. I ain't going to sleep well tonight after that. <laughs> That, I th the the moment he regurgitated the bait was the craziest part. Yeah. That's a freaking tank. That's a mud. Should have assumed. <laughs> I'm about to say that, if that was a bass dude, freaking big boy. Jeez. Well, that's not really what we're looking for, guys, but he put up a good fight. Okay. Dude, that's a, that's a pretty big one. Oh, he's got me all messed up, too. It's my last weight. There you go. You got the pliers, buddy. You hand me them whichever one. That thing's mean. The one I caught could have ate him. Really? Cody the train, you can get the train. He ate me when I hit the water. That's crazy. I did not expect to get a bite right there. Look, look at my worm. He ate it in half. That was stupid. He threw it like in a random spot on the main river. That makes no sense. And he just has it before I even get to move it. Got him. You got him? Oh, oh. he had all. He had me left. Dang. It felt like a good one. That looked like a good one the way your yeah, rod, your was, rod was just jacked over. Reach over there, or else I would have caught him. Yeah, <laughs> you got your old uh, juice on. No, I got, I got that uh, gooseberry. The gooseberry, the juiceberry. <laughs> gooseberry. That's a good name. 
berry juice. <laughs> talking all this trash. I'll catch him. <laughs> Dude, that's a different fish, Cody. They're up there. Yeah, they're, there's, all there's a lot of different fish right here. Oh, I don't know why I like had to go back and see if he had me. That's yeah. Bro, that is the thing about a cold front. We were talking about it, guys, at the beginning of the video. I don't know what it is about a cold front, but you'll still get just as many bites for the most part, but they don't want to hold on to it. I don't know why. They really like to play with you, so you can't really, like, second guess yourself. You kind of just got to go with it. You know what? Now I'm thinking about it, Cody. This is where they're sitting off, so they're about right here yeah. when we were getting bit last time, but with it being high tide, they're probably just up on that. I caught a few on a buzz bait right here too. Okay. Mm-hmm. Beaming it right up here. Like staying way off the bank. They'll, they'll eat it off. I don't know, dude. I've I've done a lot of just weird stuff this year and it's worked. All right, y'all, we're going in for the night. We had, you know, hour and a half, two hours out here. We just ran out of luck. We had five fish. I lost a few that are gonna haunt me in my dreams tonight. But it was good having you on the boat, Chance. Had a blast. Um the new chance you know a different chance I'm sure. <laughs> the um, same one <laughs> but yeah i wish we could have got some bass once he got on the boat i don't know what happened we just couldn't catch any we ended up catching some muds but we still had fun i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did hit the like button if you guys are new to this channel hit the subscribe button share this video with a friend i greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next video